Hey everybody, this is Mike with Birdman Gaming, and we're going to do a real quick this week of um, explaining more about Eternal. I wound up getting a promo pack sent to me by email, and it happens to be the most recent set. There will be a new set being released next month. Spoiler should be coming out soon. Um, and there's this is another thing with the game is updates, and it'll up show what the update is, where they changed something. Um, some of this I actually know, like this guy here. Um, he did have one toughness. They increased his toughness to two. The 2-1 double damage at one point was a 2-3. Okay. I don't remember what the original treachery was. Or the champion of chaos. Next page. The Desert Marshal was a 2 1 with ambush. Mm. Hidden Road Smuggler was also a 2 3 with lifesteal. So they did make some changes. I haven't logged in since the last video. Okay. We're going to go ahead and open the pack. Now packs cost 1,000 gold for every pack that you want to purchase. And there are no premiums and no legendaries just rare and the rare is this it's an interesting card we'll go back which takes me back to the home page. I'll go ahead and destroy the cards that I already had four of. That helps me craft cards later. Okay. So, I told you last time I was going to explain some of these card notes. So, we're going to start off with campaign. Campaigns are stories little stories told by playing out specific games. Um, each one will allow you to gain more cards. A complete set for four of e four copies of each card that you win. They do cost twenty five thousand gold or you can purchase shards in the store and do it that way. Okay. Puzzles are something that I don't know many games that do this. Um They are ways to gain more coin and whatnot, but they are 
little challenges. And we'll go ahead and play this um, Bronze Endurance real fast, see what it's about. Because I haven't played the puzzles in a while. Find a way to win through all the units. Okay. So, I cannot exhaust anything that has endurance. I have five power. Infiltrate. four. <coughs> and that's direct damage, so there's nothing I can do for that. We're going to go ahead and exit for right now. The endurance ones are the way to beat them. They are, of course, posted online. I just haven't looked at endurance or anything. I haven't played any of the puzzles in a long time. Gauntlet mode is, do you have a deck that you want to test? Has some of the cards in your decks been nerfed? This is a free player versus environment type game. You play until you get one loss, or actually in the um, lower difficulties you get two losses. Or seven wins. One or the other. And we'll go ahead and play a game of that real fast. And this is my Zodak. And as you can see, I've got a couple of the cards that were listed on the nerfs already. In my hand. But I, I'm going to go ahead and keep this hand because of this giving me my fixing for fire so I can go ahead and do this and I do have cards in my market which is in magic terms somewhat like a wish board so we'll keep this this also lets me scry And there's my other color for my other fixing. So we're going to go ahead and scry. I don't need another one of these guys, but at the same point, I kind of want it. So I'm going to leave him on top. I can wish him away for something else that I can use later on in the game. So first things first, we're... We're going to scry again. And I actually like having that on top. So I'm going to leave that on top. I'm not going to use this ability. Because this is actually better. When I have two of each influence. 
So we're going to go ahead and drop that guy. We're going to drop the double damage guy here. To do that. And here's where your voices in the game come in to fight. Because now I have access to all of those that I can look for. Do I want a piece of removal? card's really good. This is a late game removal. Actually really good as well. This, in two turns, could just win me the game. This is interesting and it allows me to not do much against this kind of opponent. And he's not playing any attachments, therefore this just doesn't fit right now. So I think we're going to go with the piece of removal. And end. I'm actually not going to block here. And on this one, I'm going to go ahead and curse him. Kill the one that's not exhausted. Run in and deal four. Yeah, it leaves me open. However, next turn, I've got a torch. Go ahead and run. Swing four. Burn him. Play him. Getting rid of that for that. Because that's my game win right there. And then turn. The double damage, and I, I understand that. I will take five this turn. It's painful. However, now I just go that. I swing for seven. And it has endurance. And see now, I can kill him. Swing, seven. And I gain seven. And I end turn. Yeah. He's playing a very solid life steal deck. This guy has an amazing ability, Empower, which is Landfall and Magic. Whenever I play a power, it plays an additional copy of that. So if it enters, tap, both of them do. Then if I have 15 power, I can pay 15 and destroy all the enemy units. So it's actually really good here. And I can go ahead and use this. Even though I hate doing it this at this point to get shadow and then pass, he's not gonna attack into me. I can play another one of this guy, which is great, and then each one triggers separately, and then I can play Avara. Bar causes some serious, interesting choices here. For the sheer fact that, one, she has deadly, because they didn't sacrifice a dude. 
Geos as well. Nothing can have ages, which means everything can be targeted. When she enters the battlefield, enemy player must choose to sacrifice a dude or give her plus two, plus two, and deadly. She's normally a three, four, for four. And end. I'm five power away from killing all his dudes. I'll take two on that. And now this is value. I'll actually just hold on to that. Flying to the four. He didn't attack, so I will actually burn it out. Then exhaust him and him. Swing for seven with lifesteal. And endurance. And that's good. That's where I have an issue here. Okay. I'll leave that on top, even though I scry twice. Or rather, three times now because of that. This is really bad for me. However, now I can just kill him. It's a two for one. And then I end. I take two, he gains two. I will end a turn here. Flying Aegis, I steal. Pretty strong. However, no Aegis. I'm gonna play him. Getting rid of her. For this. Because this actually wins me the game as well. It's a game winner. Certain things are always winners, and that's a winner. Now, my next power allows me to kill three dudes. Then, here, at Ability, which kills his entire field, and then I just attack with everything, and win the game. You always want to do your management, your resource management with this game. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to go through the entire forge here. Because there's still more to explain. I mean, Gauntlet, rather. Forge is like in um, Hearthstone as the arena. You draft a deck from cards that are chosen. Okay? Then you play against the computer opponents for maximum of seven games you get or till you have two losses um and win rewards accordingly 
draft is an actual booster draft where you actually play against the opponents. You draft four booster packs, build the best deck that you can, and play against computer opponents until I think there's seven win uh, I mean uh, seven games played. When rewards based on how you do. Ranked is a competitive uh, ranking system. And it, change, it ends at the end of each month. You get rewards. Um, casual is just playing casually with online opponents and friends. Then you have events. Which I'm going to go ahead and click on right now. Currently, we have Wild Forces. And we have The League, which is a month-long event. Starting at the beginning of the month, and of course going through the entire month. And you win prize based on how you rank by the end of the month. It costs 12,500 coin gold to enter. Um, while I'm, I'm curious about this wild forces. New allies, new threats emerge from the Shadowlands. Last game in four days, 20 hours, 48 minutes. Maximum games, five. Let's see what the prizes look like. Zero wins, one win, two wins, three wins, and at five wins you get two packs and two gold chests. And it's 1,200 coin to enter. Interesting. More info. Let's check it out. I'll go ahead and spend 1,200 coins for that. And it's a randomly selected deck. I say let's play Justice. Oh, wait, it was random. Let's see. Okay. So I don't know what I'm playing. Okay. Let's play then. This is definitely interesting. And we'll, we'll play one game of this. I'm fine with that. Let's fight. Okay. All it is is powers that I'm drawing. I will keep this. Let's go, Justice. And then we're going to play a Justice. Giving me two Justice, just in case I need to activate something later. 
zero one flyer. Huh. Fire. There's no point in attacking at the moment. Ooh, flyer with nightfall. That might be an issue. But I do have a blocker. I will block. Ooh, what do you do? Oh, that's insanely good. And can't gain life. <laughs> that's funny. Six, six. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. And end. I have a six, six. Which is really good. Um, uh, he has an unblockable. Discard this. Nightfall. It's really strong here. Play that. And deal. Oh no, he's got a flyer. What does the flyer do? Okay. I have to deal with the unblockable and the life, the one that stops my life steal. Oh, that's pretty good. Overwhelming bond. Uh, we'll deal with that. But I have nothing that I can activate at the moment. <clears throat> well, that's an issue. That's Jack. Oh, right, Caleb. He's going to block there. I can block flyers or unblockables. That's really good. Okay. Well, that's an inferno.
I'm not gonna win this game. <laughs> Still lethal. Buy one. Yep. However, we are going to go ahead and get a uh, chest here. A, a two silver chests here, in fact. And we will open them and see what we get. One, two, from the dailies. A couple of uncommons and some co some more coins. Now we're going to go back to the home screen. We're going to delete those two uncommons because I already had four of them. And on that note, I think we're going to end this video next week. Um, I'm going to see if I can grind out some some gold. And we will see if I can do something. I might uh, walk you through how to import a deck. So that you can, if you have enough shift stones, or if you have enough cards, you can play what the pros are playing. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell not icon to be notified when I post a new video. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And I love you. I'll see you guys next time. Later.